Hello everyone, I am so excited for today's video. In front of me, I have volumes 4 and 5 of the Taiwanese Special Edition box set of Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint. Wow, what a mouthful. If you've never heard of Omniscient Reader, it's an action-packed Korean web novel by Xing Xiong. This set came with a very handsome Yoo Jin Hyuk box, stickers, two ticket stubs, Instagram cards, two acrylic stands, an illustration card, and a shikishi. Normally, I would love to chat about merch, but today we're chatting about the novel. When I first heard about Omniscient Reader, it sounded like the antithesis of everything I enjoy. Sci-fi, action, adventure, video game elements are not what I gravitate towards. In fact, it took me four attempts to get through this novel. But by the end of it, I was one, so, so drained. Two, also very glad that I gave this novel a chance. It changed my life. It all starts on one fateful train ride. Our unassuming reader Kim Duk Ja is on his way home when suddenly the world of his favorite novel becomes reality. Kim Duk Ja is the only person in the entire world who has finished the novel, so he's also the only one who understands the gravity of this apocalypse the world has been thrusted into. Even that first scene gave me goosebumps. When I think about all of the strong points of this novel, it's easy to list things like the amazing characters, especially the women, the incredible world building, the heartbreaking plot twists, character growth, and so on. All of those things make this novel objectively good. But one of the reasons why I seldom make reviews of books is that I don't really like talking about technical things like pacing, diction, or symbolism. I like talking about feelings. The reason why I think everyone should read Omniscient Reader is that this novel at its core is made for anyone who has stayed up late with a book for anyone who anticipates every new chapter, or has clung desperately to a story. So basically, for anyone who loves reading. Anyone who has ever been comforted or saved by fiction will probably relate a lot to Omniscient Reader. It's a novel that was written for readers. As we journey with Kim Duk Ja and his found family, as we see them fighting for their lives, outsmarting their enemies, and everything in between. We also learn more about the profound connection he has with his favorite novel. I can't get over how beautiful the relationship is between our reader, his protagonist, and the writer who brought it all to life. At over 500 chapters, it's a bit hard to casually recommend, but if you're at all interested, please check it out and definitely be patient. There's a manhwa adaptation you can read for free on Webtoon. You can also read the first 40 chapters of the novel for free on Web Novel. Now that Yen Press has further dipped its toes into Korean works, I hope we can get Omniscient Reader printed in English. They also recently licensed The World After the Fall, which is another novel by Xing Xiong, so it feels like it's only a matter of time before Omniscient Reader gets picked up as well. And that brings us to the end of this short video. I feel as though I couldn't fully express my feelings, so I may make another more thorough video about Omniscient Reader's viewpoint at some point. As always, I hope you're safe, happy, and healthy, and I shall see you again soon.